Hi friends. Um, I still don't have a tripod, so please excuse shaky cam. Um, please excuse noisy neighbours. You're done. Uh, hi. Um, don't know what I was going to talk about. I'm spacing me on belief today. Like, we went for a walk up to the hoe. Come on. <coughs> and uh, we had a little wander, it was nice. And then Katie was like, right, I'm going to town. Get ratty stuff and presents you go home and I'm like but what if I get lost what if I get lost <laughs> and they just laughed and they were like if you can text me you can text me if you get lost I'm just like good news I didn't get lost <laughs> look at this curl it's trying Bing. Bing. My head's like trying to curl, like only on the ends. It's quite funny. This is a proper, proper S curl. Um, this is trash so far. Uh, yeah. Um, I've had a very blurry few days, I guess. Like, it feels like two minutes ago that I last filmed a video, but it was actually like ages ago. Um, so, yeah, I don't really... Yeah, I don't know where that time's gone. Um, apparently it's December now. I've got a nice advent calendar my mum got me. There's one good thing about my mum is she's like, what advent calendar would you like for Christmas? And I'm like, oh, lint. Ha ha ha. She's like, okay. And I'm like, really? So then she turns up and she's gotten KCA, like Cadbury's one and I've got a lint one. And I'm like, yeah, boy. So I got nice advent chocolate, which I haven't had today. But it's you'd think having like an advent calendar would help you keep track of the days, but apparently we're on the sixth day today, and I don't remember that. I don't remember eating six chocolates. DID things. Um. Yeah, I've had a very kind of blurry few days. I couldn't tell you what I've done. <laughs> Stressed, I guess, probably. That's what I usually do. Um, <coughs> got a real, like, tickle in my throat. It won't go away. <coughs> um, yeah, uh. Today, well, when Casey gets back from town running errands, um, we're thinking of moving the house around again. Like, I feel like it's just, at this point, it's just us, like, losing our mind of our space and how little we have of it and being like... If we move it around, it will work. If we move it around, it will be better. Like, we've moved it around, like, so many times. So, the plan this time is to move the bed back into the bedroom. The designated bedroom. And set up a TV in here. Because currently, we only, we have a, well... 
We have my old Xbox. This is probably really boring, I'm sorry, but you're listening now, you're in my plan now. We have my old Xbox 360, which is still chugging, I've had it since I was like 13. Still chugging, so good. Uh, in that room, which is currently our bedroom. Uh, my old TV, which I've had since I was like 13, which isn't chugging so well. It, in all the moving around, we clearly knocked one corner and it, the screen it works, but it's like spazzy. So it's we, we get to the evenings, you know, and we're sat in here and we want to just kind of cozy up in bed with the TV on, watch a movie or something. But we're like sat, Casey sat in their chair, like a desk chair. I'm sat in this weirdly awful makeshift sofa. Like, we sat all frumpy and then we end up going in there. The TV's really crap, we can't really watch anything. The only thing that kind of looks okay on there, because it like distorts the colour. Um, the only thing that looks okay is like Steven Universe, because none of the characters in that are normal coloured. So. We can only really watch Steven Universe. Anything else just looks really bizarre. Um, so we're going to try and set up a nice TV in here. To go bed. And then set up the other TV, because it still works, in there. With, And because we're right, we've got a smart TV here. That we can go on YouTube, we can go on Netflix. We can do all the sexy things. Got it for my birthday, it was sexy. Really wasn't expecting it. Like, thanks, mum. It's a good job she did because now this my current one is dead. Um, it's not dead. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? So, yeah. So we can put the big TV, the good TV that has like Netflix and YouTube on it, by the bed. Then we have an Xbox One as well that we got super cheap ages ago. Um, we will put that with the other TV because the Xbox One's easier to navigate than the Xbox 360 to get to, like, Netflix and stuff. That makes sense? That makes sense to me, but, like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, after the Christmas period, we're going to scour like Facebook marketplace secondhand shops to find like a, a secondhand TV I th I feel like my grandparents have one just in their spare room but I feel like they won't just give it to me so we'll have to get one you know you'd think but um so yeah, we're going to have to get a better TV that's not like blinky. But it means that we get a proper sofa to sit on during the day. And we get a proper bed to go to at night. Because our bed's kind of like a makeshift of our sofa. And then this sofa's a makeshift of our half a bed. And this, it's bad. Um, so... We'd have a sofa. We're gonna ditch this giant coffee table we have because it is it's nice. It's really nice. It's like a giant square. But it's massive and it's low and it takes up a lot of room. You know, it, this room here, if we had a tiny little corner table for the TV, would be so much bigger. So, we're just going to ditch it, because we don't end up using it, we just end up, like, piling crap on it. You know, it's just taking up space. So we're going to ditch that, ditch the coffee table. We got it for free, so... Ditch the coffee table. Have some more space, hopefully. You know, I might end, we might end up doing this, and then... Going to bed tonight and being like, that was not worth it. <laughs> uh, but at least we'll go to bed with a nice TV. Pros. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, guys. What? Um. Yeah. So. Uh, some other things, I guess. Some system things. We we have. Well, we've had a new altar fronting. 
I don't know if they're new, new, like recently split or whether they're they were dormant and are coming uh, like or whether they were like in the other parts of the inner world you know but <clears throat> yeah that's all I know really I don't know much about it other than that they exist they seem quite young it seems like a young altar um and they are calling themselves the leader of the Lost Boys. I don't know if they're going by the actual name of the leader of the Lost Boys, which is Rufio or Rufio, whatever, Rufio. Um, I don't know if they're going to go by that name or whether that's just their current title, you know, whether they, they actually own, you know, they are the leader of their own version of the Lost Boys, you know, in the inner world. Um... But that's what they're going by at the moment until we find their name. I don't know gender, I don't know age, I don't know anything about them other than that. So that's fun, that's my life. Um, my neighbours are having a rave. I've been raving too, to be honest. Um, we've been, as per usual, listening to the epic rap battles of history, like on create on like repeat like mad but um well i've always been into rock music and like heavier music and ghost was into rock music heavily you know um I say like I, 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 I it's because I identify more with the bow part, but you know, I do still feel the ghost part. But um, yeah, I guess because I've gone from host to host, you know, still. What am I saying? Yeah, the ghost part of me, I guess, was very into rock music. And I've noticed that since the fusion, um, I've been way more into rock music and I just like just gets me way pumped you know so we've been like blasting that rock music blasted and slash and it's fun it's very fun uh I recommend slash ghost right right um and slash the dissident both amazing songs that i've been getting way back into one of which is on guitar hero and now i really want to get back into guitar hero but if we move the xbox 360 back in here with the big tv i can play guitar hero and i can play that song also right okay i need your opinion so, um, so, <laughs> so inside, Ghost had an eyebrow piercing. Since the fusion, I have an eyebrow piercing. You see where I'm going with this? So it's on this side, in the inner world. And I don't know, I don't know if I would suit an eyebrow piercing. Would I look like a lesbian? That's a really bad stereotype. Um, I just think that's nice. Um, I feel like my family would murder me. You know, they like actually murder me about this one, and it's like tiny. Um, and yeah, I feel like. But I have a fringe. You know, most of the time. Most of the time. Most of the time, I have a fringe. You know, so you wouldn't actually really be able to see it. Just like a sneaky little bit of silver showing through. Hit me up, let me know, let me know what you think about the... About having my face stabbed. Because, you know, I feel, I feel like I, it, it feels weird to go and get it done because it's something I've never want, like back in the day. Back as a teen, I'd never have wanted an eyebrow piercing. 
In fact, Casey got an eyebrow piercing when we were at college way back in the day and I mocked them for weeks about it. <laughs> um, so like, it's a bit like contradictory on myself, but I kind of feel a little bit not like myself because I don't have it, if you get me. Yeah, so let me know what you think. It'd be this side, I think. It'd be the same side as my nose piercing. Would that look weird? Would I need it this side? No, that would be all weird. It needs to be this side. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. I've been chatting shit for non-stop. How do English? <laughs> I just had like a proper thought about a conversation me and Casey were having earlier. I know I literally just said I was going to sign off, but like, uh. <laughs> so in Steven Universe, if you've ever seen it, they, the gems come to Earth like way before civilization is like fully a thing. You know, the way before like America's discovered by Columbus, I guess. Well, you know, they don't actually say that, but, you know, they're there for thousands of years. They're there for, on Earth for, like, 5,000 years. And they talk about, in the show, the first people to arrive at Beach City and colonise Beach City and shit. And how uh, they've been there for years. How do they know English? How do the gems know English? Why is that their native language? If any... But like, I'm so confused. Like literally it baffled me. I was, we were talking about it for fucking ages. Like why, how do they know English? Why is English the default language on Homeworld? Where do they get that from? English is like an amalgamation of different languages pulled over generations, you know? Why don't they sound like Old English or Latin or freaking any other language that's older than English? Like, it just baffled me. And I was like, obviously it'd be English because the show would need to be English. But like, you know, there's nothing. There's no, how, no, how did they? It's a magical world. Anything goes. <laughs> that's, that's how you, that's how you dismiss it. Every, anything goes. Yeah, okay. I, I'm going to sit and contemplate that for the rest of my life. I hope you enjoyed whatever this trash video was. I hope you enjoyed seeing my face because you haven't for a while. Yeah, um, I post more regularly on Instagram if you've been missing me. Not that you probably have because why would you? Um, and yeah. Bye, guys.